Ever so often, I come across a topic like this one where the people that we're covering are just, their actions are so stupid. I'm in disbelief throughout the entire process of researching it. So today we're talking about a Darwin award-winning couple who committed multiple counts of insurance fraud and snitched on themselves throughout the entire process on TikTok and YouTube. And out of all the ways to commit insurance fraud, they did it in one of the most reckless and stupid ways because they put their own lives, their children's lives, and random drivers, innocent drivers on the road's lives in danger because they wanted to cause accidents and make it look like it wasn't their fault to cash in on that sweet insurance money. And what's so terrible about this is the innocent person who's driving along thinking they got into an accident and they think it's maybe their fault. Their insurance premiums are up through the roof simply because some sleazebag has become professional at getting himself into accidents without making it look like he was responsible for them. So I thought that we'd take a look at one of his TikTok videos that ended up getting him caught for all this that went pretty viral. So I'm just going to show you this right now. What you see here, this is Jeremy Morales. He's about to set me up like insurance company. He's about to set up an accident. He recognized me from Facebook. Now, if you're only watching that video one time, you may be confused because this guy is accusing the other driver, the innocent man involved in this, of doing exactly what he's doing to him. So if you watch this video again, we notice that this guy here. What you see here, this is Jeremy P. Robles. He's about to set me up for an insurance company. He's about to He slams brakes. And when he sees the guy tries to avoid him, he turns and goes across the double line to make sure he hits him. It looks like he tried his hardest to get hit. And not only that, he filmed it all, posted it on the internet, and overlaid the video with his own face. I mean, this is just Darwinism at its finest. And he even posted a TikTok right before he went into court. So, I'm here. Right there, there's the guy. Oh, it's one of the detectives. <laughs> I'm here. And we're gonna do this. Find out if they're gonna conspire with the sheriff or if they're gonna cooperate. We'll see. <laughs> this is the last video he posted, by the way, because he was arrested after this. What a crazy last TikTok to post though. In court today, let's see how this goes. Police misconduct, record the police, defund the police. Well, if you wanna know what happened to him, the California Department of Insurance wrote a whole article on him after court. Christopher Phelps, 40 of Ukaipa, and his wife, Kimberly Phelps, 40, were arrested yesterday on multiple felony counts of insurance fraud, assault with a deadly weapon, and child endangerment after the couple allegedly caused collisions with an attempt to collect undeserved insurance payouts. Christopher Phelps was previously arrested last month on similar charges. The California Department of Insurance began an investigation after the San Bernardino County Sheriff's Department became aware of the YouTube channel where dash cam videos of traffic collisions and road rage incidents were posted. The investigation connected the channel to Christopher Phelps under the name Blue Ghost. The channel had approximately 162 dash cam videos of vehicle collisions, attempted or near collisions, road rage incidents, and other content involving the couple. In multiple accidents, Christopher Phelps' child is also in the vehicle. The investigation discovered approximately 23 collisions documented on the channel, which were linked to 17 insurance claims filed by Christopher Phelps and 42 videos related to road rage incidents and attempted collisions involving him. What a wild story. One would think after the 10th insurance claim, something's seriously wrong here, but I guess not. Several of the videos appear to be intentional acts. The department investigation included numerous search warrants, collecting and reviewing hours of videos and attempting to locate additional victims through videos posted to the department's social media accounts. Last month, the department was contacted by the San Bernardino's County Sheriff's Department after Christopher Phelps was involved in a suspicious collision, appearing to stop for no apparent reason and causing a truck pulling a trailer into rear end his vehicle. Shortly after the collision, he posted to YouTube a rear facing dash cam video of the moments leading up to the collision. Department detectives responded to the area of the collision in Yakopa and canvassed the area for surveillance video and witnesses, which led to the earlier arrest. This is the video we watched earlier. Following that arrest, he posted bail and was released. Christopher Phelps has been charged with six felony accounts of assault with a deadly weapon, 11 felony accounts of insurance fraud, and five felony accounts of a child endangerment. Kimberly Phelps has been charged with two counts of felony child endangerment and one count of felony insurance fraud. Christopher Phelps was previously charged with one felony count of assault with a deadly weapon and one felony count of causing a vehicle collision for the purpose of presenting a false claim following his arrest last month. Department detectives arrested the couple yesterday in San Bernardino. Christopher Phelps was booked in the West Valley Detention Center and is being held on a $500,000 bail. Kimberly Phelps was booked in the Central Detention Center and is being held on a $500,000 bail. Seriously, 
They put their child in harm's way for a quick buck. But I mean, hey, at least the world is lucky that they self snitch on themselves because it probably would have taken a lot longer to catch them if they weren't re uploading all the stuff to TikTok and YouTube. And I think it's safe to say the world is better off without them driving around on the roads. But after going through their social media accounts, I am baffled with how much they actually posted on those thinking it was okay. Their YouTube channel has now been deleted, but their TikTok account is still up. And this guy has a TikTok video of himself of his dash cam of him getting out of his truck and running at another vehicle with a baseball bat. Bro, what? Okay, the caption is, how would you deal with a guy that's chasing you on the freeway? Uh, keep going, ignore them, don't confront them. I've seen enough uh, road rage incidents in the US to see how bad they can go, but he claims that he deals with them with his bat. Oh my gosh. So essentially his social media account, it just looks like it's just a bunch of dash cam footage of him driving around looking for trouble. Like he's looking to cause some sort of accident or road rage and try to like fight someone. But as I mentioned earlier, their YouTube channel was actually deleted. But thankfully there were some re-upload channels that re-uploaded a bunch of clips from their old channel. Okay, so he speeds up as the Tesla has to merge. I mean, rightfully so. He deserves to be flipped off for that. I mean, just be patient, dude. Back to back Tesla. I guess you don't need to actually have a license to drive a Tesla. You just need a little and an ego to match. Amen, brother. What is this for? What are you are you trying to catch the Tesla now? To what honk at him? Teslas! Learn how to fucking do it! What? I'm sorry, that's just life of driving in a major metropolitan area. There's going to be people that have to merge last minute. You don't get there that much quicker if you cut them off. Like, just wait, just slow down, let them merge, and move on with your day. Why? <laughs> this TikTok couple just started driving after this Tesla who cut them off. Like, there were Will Smith and Martin Lawrence for Bad Boys 2 chasing a bad guy simply because they were slightly cut off by a Tesla. Really? But ironically, he plays both sides. Because here's a very similar situation as what we just witnessed of him behind the Tesla. Tesla, except this time the roles are reversed and this guy cut off another guy and he's in the front now and of course he's doing one of his uh, reaction cams right now so let's see what this yeah. is this is almost a year later when this happens okay so he it looks like he illegally passed that pickup truck and cut him off so the pickup truck did exactly what he did last time <laughs> He's mad right now because I passed him. <laughs> Bro, you were mad when the Tesla did that to you earlier. I told I stopped the problem. Okay, and then he brake checked him and got hit. I was trying to stop him. I love how this guy's just like, I did nothing wrong. I was trying to stop for a utility truck. I just cut him off and then slam brakes in front of this pickup truck. Now, was that pickup truck behind him driving reckless? Absolutely. I'm just trying to say this guy is acting like a massive hypocrite. And in this video, he claims he did nothing wrong. Because if that Tesla we saw in the previous clip brake checked them like he did to this other pickup truck here, he would have had the same type of accident. His TikTok account is just loaded with these clips as well. Let's see this one right here. Why would he just slam brakes there when he, he's turning and he speeds? See, it looks like this guy is looking for an accident there. He slams brakes when there's no oncoming traffic when he's turning to the left, causing the other truck that's right behind him to do that sketchy maneuver around him. Then when the other truck, I'm assuming just thought that he's just slammed brakes and he's just standing still, he wanted to do a left turn. He speeds up and hits the car who took a left turn. It. <laughs> I mean, if anything, we should all be happy that this guy is not driving on the road right now. And of course, they even made the news. Tonight, a couple's accused of deliberately trying to run into drivers. Mike Rogers is at the desk now. You got your hands on some video. Yeah, tell us what your sources are telling you about this, Mike, and why the couple allegedly did it. Yeah, yeah well, they allegedly did it because they were trying to get insurance payouts. That's according to the California Department of Insurance. They say this couple would intentionally ram other drivers on the road and then file fraudulent claims. Uh, and I have the video because they posted it on YouTube. Again, Darwinism. <laughs> Oh man, guys. I mean, all we can hope for is they won't be driving around on the road anytime soon. But other than that, at least they weren't forced to deliver a package during an active flea standoff like this Amazon delivery driver had to do. Overall, that's just a wild story. So you can check that out here and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.